You want users to have a good experience inside of your designs, right? Of course you do, you're a UX designer, you build mobile applications, websites, and web applications, and your whole purpose is to make sure that your users love what you created. So in this video, I'm gonna share five ways to improve your UX designs. Let's do it. All right, tip number one to improve your UX designs is to bring clarity to your designs. Is it clear what the main objective of your application or that specific flow is? Do buttons look like buttons and forms look like forms? If not, make it clear, make it simple and bring clarity to your users. Maybe this means stripping things away, simplifying things down, leaning on already established and trusted design patterns, even though you have some sort of fantastic idea and this other one seems boring to you. Bring clarity first and you'll make your users happy. Tip number two is to always provide the user feedback when you can. Feedback is so important. Think of your UX designs less like a website that's just presenting information and more like a conversation between you and your users. So when they tap on something, they should get some sort of feedback. When they input something into a form field, they should get some sort of feedback. Good job, success, error. It's just a good feeling to know when you've successfully completed a task the way it's supposed to. It gives you a little hit of dopamine to know that you've done a good job as a user. So if you can give them that good feeling by giving them just a little bit of user feedback, it's gonna go a long way. Tip number three is to design for the user and not for yourself. So you have to put aside all of your preconceived notions, ideas, wants, and wills for this project and instead embrace the information, embrace the research, and embrace the user and their needs first. So your choices need to be based off of the user's preferences and not your own. This is why you do empathy mapping. This is why you make user personas. Not so that at the end of the day you can say, listen, I don't care if you like the color blue or you don't like rounded buttons do your users respond to them more favorably? That's what it's all about. Tip number four is to make your designs digestible. Don't shove them full of lots of content or excess things that aren't needed. Researchers have found that the average human being can only remember or really focus on seven things at the same time. Anything after that becomes cognitive overload. This is the difference between that super loaded, insane menu at an old mom and pop Italian restaurant with 150 things on the menu or a really nice chic bistro that has four options, that chic four option menu seems a whole lot more attractive and it's a better user experience, even though it's limited. So make things scannable, reserve the content for later, figure out what's primary, secondary, tertiary, and then organize them as such. Make sure that your designs are digestible. Tip number five is our last one of the day and it's one that people forget a lot of the times and that's to somehow bring a little bit of delight into your designs. Make the interface super intuitive. Bring some fun humor or some sort of charm to your application if you can. If you can do all the other things we already mentioned, make it clear, make it digestible, give the user some feedback and make sure it's for them, then your user experience is gonna be great. Add that little bit of delight. Maybe it's an animation, an interaction, a little bit of copy that has some cheeky humor. Whatever it is, add that in there so that they enjoy using your application. Not only do they need it, but they love it because you've given them the delight that their hearts really desire. All right, those are my top five tips for making your user experience design just a little bit better. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and hit that little bell notification icon so you know when more videos like this one come out. If you have any questions, leave those in the comments and check the description for some helpful links about UI and UX design. I hope you're having an amazing week. I hope you're designing amazing things. Hope you're making amazing things. And I hope you're adding all of those little elements. And I hope that you are constantly seeking to improve and make your UX designs better. See you in the next one.